Hey guys, Mr. Jalapeno here with another episode of Jalapeno Drywall. And on today's project, we're going to be addressing this damage here behind the stove. They had the electrician move the outlet because it wasn't letting the stove go all the way back. So there was a little gap and all we have to do now is just repair it. So the first thing I did was I turned off that breaker just to be safe. Then I just added some wood backing. That way I could attach the new pieces of drywall there. Just make sure that when you're putting the screws, they don't go in too deep. You don't want to rip that drywall paper because it's going to get loose. Also, just make sure that when you're working near anything electrical, you're super cautious. You don't want to put a screw into the cables. Okay, next I got a little bit of this Easy Sand 5 or Hot Mud, whatever you want to call it. I just added a a little bit of water and I mixed it to like a peanut butter consistency that way I could do the pre-fill this is gonna help fill in the seams that way it doesn't crack and also I'm gonna apply some mesh tape over the seams again that way it doesn't crack then I just grabbed my 10 inch drywall knife to apply the mud the main goal here is to just hide that mesh tape that way it doesn't look like a patch the homeowner didn't really care how good the patch was gonna look because it's behind the stove I personally take great pride in what I do so I made it look good even if it is behind the stove but anyways, as you saw there, I was using the heat gun to try to dry this patch a little bit quicker. I would probably wait a couple hours before you paint it, but like I said, the homeowner didn't really care and wanted this job done. What do you think of this repair? You like it? You don't? Let me know in the comments. And after all that, we can now put that stove back in. There we go. Jalapeno solution. Boom.